Well, I'll start with this one because I find it interesting about perceptions. It's not, um, anyways, last week I went to um, see my doctor for a yearly thing. I'll be honest with you. Uh, the main reason um, I go to see my doctor is um, uh, she has access to letting me have blood tests and um, uh, prescriptions if I need them. Other than that, um, that's, I, that's it. Anyways, I just find it ironic, so, perceptions wise, because she goes after we, we do the weighing. Like, I'm six foot on the button. And um, when she weighed me out uh, last week, she's like, you've been losing weight? And um, I was like, actually, I gained. <laughs> I was like, actually, I gained weight. And she's like, whatever. And um, um, yeah, I'm actually, I just gained a uh, loss. I'm not one of those people I can in a week, whatever, because, you know, I just don't focus on whatever. But perception-wise, here I am looking at my body going, boy, um, you know, you're, you're looking a bit chunky. It's just, just the way the world works. Hold on. Well, maybe let's not say chunky. I would say I, I feel uh, like around my abdomen area or whatever. It just doesn't feel... Yeah, I think... Uh, how, how about this? I, I can feel a high percentage of adipose fat uh, the way... or. Doesn't matter. It just this is the way I feel. However, um, this is uh, another bit about um, Meandry Mike earlier in the week was mentioning um, on one of the comments about synchronicity, and uh, you can say whatever you want. I it's the way I view the world all the time. I'm just constantly um, trying to look for connections or themes throughout the week, and there's bigger themes and smaller themes and. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's gotten me into trouble at, at times, but um, uh, more so than anything, I just see the magic. In, in it. Anyways, earlier on, Zoe gave me this because she was like, oh, you're into the red squirrel. And um, I've been last night and yesterday, uh, this is in connection, like I said, all kinds of things. And I was looking at this red squirrel and I'm, um, um, yeah, I've been missing Ken, you're darn right, I've been missing any form of communication with him, and I was kind of like thinking at the time, I was like, oh, darn it, I hope, like, I didn't uh, piss him off at some point and whatever, or, you know, uh, that thing, or maybe he thinks I'm like some kind of, wow, like, not a real gamer, and he's one of those hardcore types, and he's like, oh, this guy's like going off in a freaking wonderland, or whatever, and, um, obviously, Ken, uh, so, yeah, Ken X, Ken, sorry, I, in my universe, he's Ken. Um, and, uh, you know, Ken and the Red Squirrel are one and the same in a sense. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you know, what I remember, I was evoking the spirit to go up against him kind of thing. And I really needed this this week after, even though I was having a, it's just been a, remember what I've said before, um, that 99.9% uh, .9 of all my freaking um, problems are self-inflicted. And um, this is no different if I, whatever's going to happen or going to go on or whatever. So anyways, my anxiety is through the roof. And I was like, you got, and another thing on the side, I, mean, I do need to talk about that too. I didn't want to, but I'm going to, because I need to get it off my chest. But then on another flip side, um, I'm, I don't want to start turning these into things. I think I mentioned this before, or I think maybe I just was with Zoe, but I don't want to turn these things into some freaking, um, uh, uh, video counseling sessions uh, that's bs uh whatever but i mean i also want to chit chat and i will put it in the ramble playlist so it's like well i don't want to listen to that tithead go off onto wonderland so there you go um anyway so that was that of course i'm getting sidetracked as per flipping usual so anyways and then boink like i said i need this um oh yeah that was it um last week man i'm telling you after that live stream it just did not I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. I just didn't, I just, it did not go well. I'll tell you one thing. I was so flipping happy though afterwards was I was like, at least, uh, the, the shining bit out of that was like, I just did not feel, I just, it was not in the groove. Um, and I was just spinning wheels, but William Aaron's birthday pop, he just said it out of the blue. And I think that just saved my bacon. And, uh, I was really, you know, that just, yeah, put a beautiful spin on it. So I was like, okay. And after that, I, I went and looked up control in the, uh, in my dictionary. I was like, um, that's what you need to do. You have to start directing, stop being a whatever. And yet again, it's going to be, uh, that type of stuff. Oh, and then on the flip side here, I was, like I said, with the synchronicity and anxiety and whatnot, out of the blue, I was, uh, thinking, gosh, I'd like to go and chit chat with somebody. I was just feeling it this morning before work, big time. 
And out of the blue, my friend from Tasmania phones, Troy, just boink. Hey, just wanted to chat with you. I thought maybe it would be a good time to talk to you. I was like, what the hell? And this was like about 20 after six in the morning. And so it was kind of nice. I was like, well, I was like, I'm actually working because I like to work a little bit earlier. Just that way, you know, if I go to the shops or do whatever, at least I'm not whatever. But anyways, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. I should go and uh, uh, get down, down into whatever land and start um, getting into my first sleep or something or just wash my brain away from whatever and focus on what can be focused on, which is um, the here and the now and the other stuff is just whatever. Um, that's that. And um, yeah, I get myself immersed back into... Um, World War One in gaming, you're darn right. And chit-chatting with you guys. Okay, that's it. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, see ya.